welcome to vivado tutorial for beginners so we will create try to create a vhdl project and try to simulate it using vivado so first create a project so in this uh, you can see uh, you can choose different boards here this is the interface of vivado you can also choose speed according to the board which you have even if you do not have board available with you you can simulate the vhdl or verilog code using this software as you can see we can choose different types of boards so we will create our project so this is creating the project initializing phase this is the vivado home interface so it will take some time to create your project so it may take it may be faster on your pc so uh, go to add sources and select add or create design sources so in this way we can uh, add so go to create file then you can choose vh verilog or vhdl or system verilog depending on your application so i am creating a half adder using vhdl programming so write a file name you can give any file name and click okay and create file and finish so now it will ask for ports so as we know half adder has two input ports a and b and two are output ports uh, sum and carry so we will create two input ports and two output ports we can change the direction so carry is output port so i have changed the direction to out click okay so uh, it has created uh, my entity half adder uh, underscore vhdl and as you can see the basic entity has been created i only have to write the architecture part for it so uh, we will assign sum sum is a xor b so we will write sum is equal to a xor b and carry is equal to a and b so in this way we can write uh, after we have written the code we will synthesize this so you can save the project and synthesize so uh, after we have uh, synthesized it in the bottom you can see it is running synthesis so after this circle stops uh, circling then uh, you, your synthesize will be finished so this circle is rotating so uh, we can see that our synthesis is running so meanwhile we will try to run the simulation part and synthesis is running in background so it is taking some time on my computer because my computer is little old but it will be faster on your pc so it is uh, simulating the code so it can run on even 10 year old computer my computer is uh, about 10 year old so on older systems it will take some time and on newer systems it will execute fastly i have just taken an uh, older system to show that uh, this uh, software can run on old system also so please like and share and subscribe the channel for uh, more content on uh, vlsi so uh, this is the simulation window so as you can see uh, we have four objects a and b which are our input and sum and carry which are our output we can assign various signals on these so as you can see the synthesis has completed 
we are running the implementation and now we will force the values so we will force a constant we have to force a binary value 0 and on B we will force again a binary value 0 and run so as you can see when both A and B are 0 then sum is 0 and carry is also 0 so we have written the VH, uh, VHDL code and now we are simulating our design so we will choose some different value 1 so now A is 0 and B is 1 and as you can see now sum is 1 and carry is 0 because when we add 0 and 1 then we get sum as 1 and carry will be 0. Now we have chosen A also as 1. So when A and B both are 1 then sum will be 0 and carry will be 1. So in this way we can assign any values and check even, we, even if we uh, don't have a test bench. So as you can see I have not written a test bench and in the bottom console window also you can see the various messages. Thank you. Welcome to Vivado.